We'll guide you through how to blend a photo in Canva. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, head to Canva and then what we need to do is go and find the photos you wish to blend. In my case, they're in my uploads. I've got these two here. So go and drag one of them in like so and go and position it and resize it. After you've done that, you then need to head over to the left and go and click on elements and you want to click at the top and go and search gradient like so and go and search for it and go into graphics, press see all. Then what we need to do is use one of these gradients. You'll go and see some of these are for Canva Pro. You can go and find some free ones further down though, so go and check them out. If you want to get Canva Pro, I'll put a link down below that is an affiliate link which supports the channel at no extra cost, but you can go and get yourself a free trial. So I'll select this one here, and then what we can do is go and rotate this, so double click on it, and then I'm gonna go and rotate this by 90 degrees. And just to add as well, you need to go and choose which side you wish to go and blend the photo on. So in this case, I want the blend to be on the right here. I'll then go and click on done in the bottom left and I'll go and position this to go and get it right. And what you can then do is go and resize the gradient to go and get it right, depending upon sort of how big you want it to be. So in this case, that is just right for me. And then we'll head to the top left and click on share and we'll go and click on download and we'll go and click on download again. Now, what we need to do is go and repeat this for the other image and flip the gradient round. So just go and drag the gradient off to click the image behind it and click the image behind it and delete it. And then come over to the left of your uploads again or whatever the other image is you wish to go and blend with and then go and reposition it. Once you've done that, right click on it, click on layer and click on send back. So we can go and get the gradient again. And then what we need to do is go and flip the gradient. So double click on it and then we need to change this to positive 90 to go and flip it 180 degrees, but that may be different for you. And then what you wanna do is go and drag it across just like that. I'm happy with that. Make any adjustments you want and then go to the top right, click on share, click on download and click on download again. And now what we need to do is we need to go and put these together. So I'll just click on add page and we now need to upload these. So find them in your file explorer or your browser and select uploads on the left and we can then just go and drag them straight in like so, super straightforward. And then what you need to do is go and drag one of them in like this and then resize it and drag the other one in like that and go and resize it again. And now what you need to do is make sure the top one is selected, go to the top and go and click on transparency and decrease it to 50 so it's equal. And as you can see, we've now gone and blended them. You may be thinking it's quite washed out. Don't worry, what we can do is just make sure it's selected uh, so make sure it's sort of outlined. Click on edit photo in the top left. And then what you wanna do is go and click on adjust. Under select area, make sure whole image is selected. And then we can scroll down here and go and make these different edits. For example, here I might go and decrease the whites, but I might go and increase vibrance. And then what you can do is make these changes and go and get it looking perfect for you.